Hi everybody, it's Soap Man. It's Thursday evening and it's time to make some soap. I'm off work tomorrow because tomorrow is my birthday. I will be 51 years old tomorrow. Doesn't seem it, but I will be. And that's one of the benefits of working where I work is you get your birthday off with pay. So I am not in a big rush to do anything this evening. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and make some soap. I'm going to be using my tall column mold. You'll see it in a minute if you haven't seen it before. Um, I really like the mold, although we didn't get along at first. It took a long time to get used to it and how to work with it, but I love it now. Um, <clears throat> I'll show you in a minute if you haven't seen it before, but I'm actually going to try and do the twist this time. I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. I'm going to use two colors. This is Brambleberry's Nuclear Orange. The camera doesn't pick it up. This is a bright, vivid orange. That's going to be the one side and then the titanium dioxide in the other. The white is also going to have poppy seeds mixed in it. The white side is going to be scented with Brambleberry's Apple Sage. And the orange side is going to be scented with actually orange. That doesn't look very orange. This is actually essential oil, orange essential oil, but it has been distilled 10 times. That's why it's dark and oh my gosh, it smells wonderful. I've used it many, many times. So let's go ahead and get started. The process is to go ahead and mix the lye and the, 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 lye and the oils and get a light emulsification. I'm going to split it up into two containers about four cups each that I'm going to pour into the column mold, one on each side. Then I will do the twist. I'll show you that in just a minute if you don't know what I'm talking about. And that'll be it. Excuse me. Let's go ahead and get started. Make a little bit of noise here. I will almost certainly do a little bit more stick blending once I get into the cups because this needs to be moderately thick. I don't want it so thick that it won't pour and that it won't twist, but if it's too thin, the mold will leak. I really do like this mold now that I've gotten used to it, but it takes some getting used to and takes a little bit of working with. Too thin it leaks, too thick you can't get what you want, but too thick is better than too thin. But hopefully, I'm going to get it just right. Let me get my cup that that goes in. All right, here we go. Make a little bit of noise, get a light emulsification. And I've used this recipe many, many times in this column mold. It's one of my favorite recipes. And I'll put it below so you can take it. Feel free to use. I actually got it from Soap Queen. I made a few very, very minor tweaks to it, but really the Soap Queen gets the credit for this recipe. Because it's hers just with a couple of small tweaks. But it is a wonderful recipe. pretty well emulsified. I'll almost certainly stick in a little bit more because this is definitely too thin for the mold and I don't want my poppy seeds to settle into the bottom too. But let's get this into my two measuring cups, about four cups each. And then we'll get the colors and the scents and the poppy seeds in the one side. Okay. Now the one side is going to have the titanium dioxide as well. I don't want to put this in just yet because I meant to stick blend.
kind of wanted that a little bit brighter, but there's nothing I can do right now because I don't want to have to disperse more Tidox. So, oh well. Needed a little bit more because I wanted this a really vivid white to contrast with this vivid orange. Okay, let's get the orange in over here. I don't think I'm going to have to stick blend anymore. The camera really does not pick this vivid orange up to show you just how truly vivid it is, and that's a shame. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I'm not leaving a trace, and I want a trace on top, so I'm going to stick blend just a tiny, tiny bit on each one. Not quite thick enough. Close, but not quite. seeds in. Yep, that's a little thicker. That's more what I'm liking, but I'm not going to have to move fast now because we are setting up. A tablespoon of poppy seeds into the white. I'm going to whisk it in. And I'm going to put my apple sage in, which is going to break it up just a little bit. just about the right texture. I think I got it right this time. I'm going to put my scent into my orange. Yeah, it's getting thick now. Let's break it up a little bit and we're going to get this in the mold and do the twist that I've been talking about. Now this is a really dark scent oil. It does darken it down some. That's why I was pretty generous with the colorant. But it comes back out, and oh, this stuff smells so good. And this orange essential oil really sticks well in your cold process. Yeah, I gotta move now. Got to move, so bear with me a minute. You're gonna be out of the picture, and I'm sorry, but I got to move. Pouring one color into each side. I'm going to sit it down just a minute and tap it a little bit on the floor to release some air and pockets. The white's way thicker than the orange, but it's still pourable. Tap this down again. The orange is the perfect consistency. The light's a little thick now. Alright, I'm going to just leave it. Now, what I'm going to do is pull this up and twist it, which gives a really unique pattern to the soap. I'm sorry you can't watch it because I really got to move now, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. Oh, shoot. And take it
take a screwdriver and give it a twist. I've got to do it down on the floor. Bear with me a minute. I just have to really move fast when this starts to work like that. And the twist was perfect. The twist did perfectly. So, I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to show it to you. Doesn't look like much right now. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of this in there. This is one you're going to actually have to see the soap. You're going to have to trust me with if you haven't watched this before. Because it's hard to video this one to get it just right. I'll put all the rest of this white on top. those in just a little bit. I'm going to tap this down one more time. Not much to see right now, but hopefully tomorrow or Saturday when I get this unmolded and get it cut, you're going to see what I'm talking about. Anyway, that's what I have for today, everybody. Thanks for watching. Look, you see all the soap in there, and all the soap in there, and all the soap in there. That was from last week's soap, that bucket of water. That's going to be have, have bleach added to it and clean the bathroom. So all of that leftover soap is absolutely not going to waste. Anyway, here we go. Thanks for watching, and I will see you either tomorrow or Saturday for the cutting. Bye.